guy's getting ready to slide his tandems. He just released them. Now he's getting back in the tractor. He's going to back his trailer up and the wheels will stay there. Yeah. Oh, he slid them. He's going back with them. He slid them back. No, he's going forward. There they go. He's moving forward. Wow, way up to his uh, wind guard. I don't like mine up that far. It's too hard to get in there to release them now. He's got to crawl underneath that thing to get in there. See, if you look over there, there's not much room between these docks. And then you got these clowns parking their cars over here. Usually that spot's empty, so. But yeah, when they're parked like that, you got no room for your nose over here. Not as big as it looks. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not as big as it looks. See, ideal if you could get one of them doors, you don't have to worry about anybody on your right hand side. Now that guy down there is backing in. Going in between those two. I can't tell if that's two spaces open or one from this point. He's getting out and opening his doors. Now his tannins are slid way up. So that's a lot of trailer hanging off the back there. And if you go in at a slight angle, you're going to hit that red colored truck right there with that trailer. Even if you're close to the white one. See, now I don't know. Usually a lot of places they make you slide your tandems all the way back before you back up or back in, but apparently this place doesn't do that. I can't remember. If they want me to slide them, I'll slide them. They're up right now, but I don't want to have to move them back up to adjust for my weight once I get loaded. So, 